I remember the days when you could go to a store at like 11.30 p.m. or midnight and there was hardly any people in the store and you would just be able to do your shopping and you go and you check out and it's really fast and cool and you're good to go. Unfortunately, things have changed and I, at least in, in my state, in my city, there's no 24 seven stores anymore. Everything closes at like 11, sometimes midnight, you know, if, if you're lucky. So I can't go shopping late anymore. And so uh, when I go any other time of the day, I feel like lines take forever. And I've been in line and I'll look at the items that the person in front of me has and they put them on the belt and they're, you know, checking out and it's taken a very long time. <laughs> and it, it's, kind, it's just kind of funny. I've seen people with 10 items and it still takes like two minutes for people to check out. And that to me is slow. Am I the only one or do you experience the same thing? I say this because I know that if you go to Costco with 10 items and you go to the register, you're in and out of that section at least in like 30 seconds. Cashiers will be like, card, beep. Here you go. It's going to be 2742 uh, scan or whatever. And then you're good to go. It's super fast. I know this because that was me too. I used to be a really fast cashier. Okay. I feel like I need to do another disclaimer like I did in my last video where like this, what I'm telling you is based on the Costco's that are around me and where I've worked. And I've worked at seven different warehouses. I know it's a lot. I want to tell you all about it, but we're going to wait until we get 1000 subscribers. And then I'm going to tell you my whole story and how I got to now. So if you're interested in that and you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and leave me a like and leave me a comment. And if you have any questions, like that's what I love to, to see in my comment section is questions so that I can answer them, whether it's there and I make a video about it, which I think it's cool sometimes. Anyway, that being said, I know that some Costco's may be busier than what I have experienced. And so the case might be not exactly the same, but I feel like generally Costco lines are a little bit faster than most places. So why is this? What I've noticed is that Costco has a really good system going on. Here's some of the reasons why I believe Costco lines to be faster. So one, Costco operates with a cashier and an assistant at all times, or it should be at all times. I know sometimes we get really busy and the assistants have to go and run and grab something else or pick something up, clean something up, help the cashier behind the other cashier. There's a lot of things that can happen, but Usually Costco operates with one cashier and one assistant. And so this will make the line go faster. The fact that Costco doesn't have bags, but instead we use the boxes. I think it's genius because you can fit a lot more stuff in there, a lot of heavy things. And you know that the box is not going to collapse on you, even though it has happened sometimes depending on the box. But we try to be pickier about the boxes that we use for members. And we also try to make sure that they're not too heavy for you, or at least I hope that most people, most assistants and cashiers are making sure that the boxes are not heavy for you. That's something that I at least always try to do. Having big carts also helps because then we can just like put stuff in there and we don't have to, I mean, we play Tetris with stuff sometimes, but it's a little bit easier when the cart is bigger than usual. Another thing that I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of Costco items tend to have really big barcodes. So next time you go to Costco, like pay attention to like where the barcode is and it's going to be really big. It usually has really big item numbers, like with big, bold letters. And typically most items, like especially if it comes in a box or a heavy bag, it'll have multiple barcodes all over the place. So this makes it super easy for the cashier to locate that barcode. And so when we're scanning, we, we know what to do. Along with that, our bar scanners are like really good and they're, they're very sharp. So you can grab an item and you just kind of like swipe it through and it'll like scan it right away where I've, I've noticed other stores cashiers tend to like have to like play with it a little bit. And even in some self checkouts, you have to kind of play with the barcode a little bit so that it sees it. Costco's scanners are just Awesome. They're amazing. Along with, with this whole barcode thing, we go through the same items so many times that we just kind of like memorize where the barcodes are. So even if we're talking to you or talking to our assistant or not talking at all, even if we're not looking at the item, we just kind of know where the barcode is. So we know how to twist the item as we're scanning it through and we don't have to think about it as much. And adding to that, we do tend to memorize a lot of the item numbers. Everybody's going to be different. Not every, not every cashier or 
software assistant is going to know all of the item numbers in the warehouse. But some of the more typical ones or the ones that we've noticed that maybe don't scan as well as others, we tend to like memorize the, the item number so that when we get to that item, if we go through it one, maybe twice, and it's not scanning, we just go straight to our keyboard and we just type in the number and we're good to go. If you ever see this happen, I recommend that you pay attention to what is getting rung up. Fat finger is a thing and we want to make sure that we're getting you for the right item, which in the future will avoid for you to getting stopped at the line when you're getting out of the warehouse. That's the whole thing. I made a video about it of why we checked receipts. This is one of those reasons. Another reason why I believe we're really fast is because we have a lot of supervisors on the front end. One is always running our breaks. Like if you see a supervisor with a board and a pen or like an iPad, I think we're, we're upgrading most of the warehouses now to iPads. So one of them is always looking, making sure that there's an even distribution and they're also making sure that all of our breaks and lunches are running on time. The other supervisors are there to help us out in case there's any issues with your membership, any issues with pricing, any issues with a specific item. They're there so that we can call them, they can come to us and then you're good to go so if somebody's getting called to one side of the of the registers we should have another supervisor available for the other side so on busy days can take some time but for the most part i feel like we're pretty good at making sure everybody's taken care of now i don't know if you've noticed this as well but our belts are like really wide so you can fit a lot of different like small items like in a, in a row so you can fit a lot more on the belt at one time which means the cashier can scan a lot more items a lot faster than if you were to line them up one by one and then we have to like you know reach out and and, and that slows us down now costco does have a speed incentive for its employees and it's not like what you see in the movies specifically employee of the month which is based on costco it's not like we have employee of the month based on how fast a cashier is or isn't but we do have a standard for making sure that we have a speed of so many items per minute and and members per hour and we also have an incentive for scanning items but more than typing them because Costco wants to avoid fat fingering an item maybe incentive is the wrong word for this I think it's more of like or at least the way I saw it it was more like friendly competition between uh, my co-workers because it was like Oh, I want to be faster than that person or uh, I don't know, something like that. So if you're all about speed, if you just want to get in, get your stuff and get out as fast as possible, there's a few things you can do to make this happen. So one of the things you can do to help us out as cashiers and assistants is to make sure that you you make the barcodes visible when you're leaving things in the cart. So if you have any heavy items, if you were to leave the barcode like kind of upwards or to the side where it's visible, I appreciate it and I think it makes my job easier when I'm cashiering. When you get to the register, it's, it's always nice when you help us like unload your stuff and then load them back to your car. Now, you're not expected to do this, nor do we require you to do this, and you do not have to do it at all. All you have to do is present your card and, and we'll take care of the rest. I'm just saying, if you want it to be faster and if you feel inclined to do so, helping us unload and load things back onto your card goes a long way. Also always ensuring that you have your card handy when you're ready to like check with the cashier. Always makes things faster. And I've said this before, don't be on your phone. It's it's rude. And if there are any issues or we need to tell you something or we have a question for you and you're on your phone, it just it starts to delay everything and it's just not a good time for anybody. So if you're on a phone call, if it's really important, I'm sure the cashier will understand if you're able to at least let us know like, hey, I'm really sorry, it's an important call, I need to be on this. Two, you can just wait a little bit longer. And again, these are not requirements, nor is it expected. I'm just letting you know some things that can help you get out of the store faster. Anyway, that is all I have for you today. I hope this kind of helps you understand why Costco can sometimes be a little bit faster. If you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer them. If you like this video, big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Remember, I will be making a video about my history with Costco at 1,000 subscribers. And I will see you guys next time.